Hello YouTube. Today I am going to show you how to solve the internet connection problems. So now I am connected to the internet by dial up. So I am disconnecting this and again I am connect connecting and I am connected now. I am going to visit google.com and you can see th this is not working, it's just loading. And then Facebook not not working. And if I try this with others browser, you can see here is Yahoo on page loading, but not is not working. Facebook not working. Google the same. The result is same. If I want to visit this with Google, oh, sorry with Mozilla Firefox then most probably this will not work so here is our problem so everything's everything's okay but not working how do you fig figure out that everything is okay so just simply from your command prompt open up your command prompt and then type ping PING and then www dot google.com or any other website you want to visit and simply then hyphen t then you can see here this replay from some IP address and bytes some bytes from a uh, time that means your internet connections is okay but you can't visit any website by your from by using your browser here you can see my Skype is already working and everything's fine so now I am I'm going to try my Wi-Fi connection now if you are a user of Wi-Fi connections then and you must probably face this problem also so now we can see this is not also working so everything's dead 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 boom unable to connect to proxy servers this is showing us that there is a proxy server there is a proxy server setup so you just simply change your proxy settings this will be this will be help you a lot and hope you this will solve so what we have to do now just just go to your control panel if you are a windows user then just click on the start menu and type control control panel and here it is uh, you can see this if you can see this here this icon is here then just from viewed by you just change it to sim small icons and then find uh, where is our internet connections internet connections um, internet options excuse me internet options and then connections from here just select on LAN settings and untick this proxy servers uh, this is the proxy address my, uh, maybe most probably this is now dead so we can um, visit through this proxy so then click ok and ok so now if I reload the page Google Facebook everything is working fine so this is working with our Wi-Fi connections but if I disconnect this and connect my dial-up connections okay now take a look here what did happen uh, google.com we fixed one proxy settings but this this is still now is not working so how can we fix this also we can check with others browser that this is and uh, this is not working not working not working just loading just loading so again go to the control panel and then internet options then connections remember this time we are using a dial-up connections so 
now we have to figure out which one we are using we are using here the dial-up name is Exp expert online so here is our dial-up connection same name expert online select on it and then settings and from here under the proxy server just untick this one here and then hit ok and ok most probably this time we are get into our <laughs> goal uh, yeah you can see here already almost done for us it is automatically mm -mm. yeah it's working if this procedure is not working with you then you have to figure out when the problem is happened to you this is a great solution for all uh, all of the people all of the people over the internet if you have a proxy proxy problem but if there is a malware attack then this will not work this this you can't untick your proxy server because it will automatically because when you untick it and you hit ok and ok then it will again uh, again tick your proxy server or it will um, change the proxy by its own so you have to um, so you have to buy a premium antivirus and scan your computer through the antiviruses this will help you a lot if that's not work then you have to reinstall your LAN driver and if that is not work then you have to only one solution that is reinstall your windows okay so I'm extremely sorry guys for that because this is an annoying thing uh, most probably you can call your ISP to fix this problem then they will uh, give you a solution what you have to do okay thank you guys thank you for watching please rate comments and subscribe